there's an enormous difference with how the local spreads around and up and down the nerve, depending on what layer you're in. And often it's only fractions of a millimetre between those layers, and they're right next to delicate nerve tissue. So how do we get there safely? Our target for this block is to inject local anaesthetic under the paraneurium, which is also sometimes called the circumneurium. Uh, so here we are scanning up and down, trying to find an appropriate place. So we found the bifurcation of common perineal and tibial nerve, and we're just scanning around to see what our anatomy looks like. We can see that we've got some vessels below, got an artery and a vein there, and then we've got uh, the muscle laterally, and now we can start to see the bifurcation. And what we can see here is one of the fascial layers. We're not going to know for sure which one this is until we start playing. But we've got our, what looks like a reasonable target. So remember, we're going to be coming in lateral to medial with an in-plane approach. So we're looking for a, I guess, a landing zone. So we want to know where we're going to put the local and a, a way to get there. So what we can see here is that we've got the normal orientation of the, uh, of the bevel. It's upside down. So in a second, you'll see I'll rotate 180 degrees. You can see that's definitely upside down and we're approaching our target. So we need to identify that. So we'll rotate 180 and there we go. Now we've got the bevel facing towards the ultrasound transducer. This is the layer that we're going to target. So we want to see a nice, safe place that we can pop into. So we can see common perineals rolled out of the way. There we go. We've got a little release and a little pop. And we'll try a test injection. So now we're looking at where the local goes. Have we got within our target zone? Yes, we have. So this is the initial layer that we sort of targeted is lifting up in a way. So we'd say that's probably, you know, epimesium. It's probably not what we want. So... Coming in again a little bit deeper, another little test injection. Now I can see this layer perhaps lifting up a little bit more. Yep, so now we've got a bit more spread within this fascial layer. So we'll pop into that and see what what, can, what happens. So now we've got this bifurcation there, little injection. No, not really that great. So very gently skirting along, along on top of tibial nerve. And a little injection, not much. So we'll probably pop through now. Little release. Okay, now our local is spreading along top. That's kind of good. Starting to push alongside the common perineal now as well. I'll scan up and down. We haven't got excellent spread. It's mostly localized around where we've injected. So let's see what happens. We're going to pop through another little click on a layer. Now we can see it spreading under here. Now, and you can see there's definitely another little layer that we've just isolated there. So we withdraw slowly. Up into there, another little click. And that's pretty much it. So that's ideal. That's what we're after. And we've managed to do that with without skewering nerves, without overly aggressive positions with respect to nerves. We'll scan up and down, and now we've got good longitudinal spread. I'm looking at now is the fact that we don't have great... So we've got spread to tibial, but we don't have great spread to the common perineal. So I think we'll try another little approach. We're going to readjust our needle, come back. Popping on top. No, outside of where we want to go. Outside. Still outside. We can see it tenting that little fascia layer that we were in before. And this is as bad as far as I would reasonably go. This is an analgesic block. The more we needle, the more we risk nerve injury. If this was for surgical anesthesia, it would be more ideal to see better spread around the specific common perineal nerve.